it's the biggest myth in medicine. It's like it's the Loch Ness monster of science. Everybody's been told that vitamin C can cause a kidney stone. There is no scientific evidence that it can or has. There has never been a vitamin C caused kidney stone produced in the same way that Nessie has never been brought in with a net or a rod and a reel. You know what a unicorn is. You can think of one. You can draw one. You're thinking of one right now. They don't exist. Never did. Vitamin C kidney stones the same way. As a matter of fact, Dr. Robert Fulton Cathcart III, the vitamin C specialist of the uh, second half of the 20th century, actually said this. You'll like this. I started using vitamin C in massive doses in patients in 1969, he writes. By the time I read that ascorbic acid should cause kidney stones, I had clinical evidence that it did not. <laughs> And not only that, Cathcart, who treated 25,000 patients with high doses of vitamin C, did have two or three that developed kidney stones, but that's because they took too little vitamin C, he said. When he gave them more C, the kidney stones went away. Vitamin C blocks the formation of calcium and oxalate, and vitamin C acidifies the urine slightly, which helps to dissolve the other types of kidney stones as a general rule, and it's neutral with the rest. So if somebody has told you that vitamin C can cause a kidney stone, that is what we call a stone age belief. Come on, get real, get modern. If your doctor still thinks that vitamin C causes kidney stones, you've got an old fashioned doctor. Vitamin C prevents kidney stones, and according to Cathcart and Dr. William J. McCormick, 20 years earlier, vitamin C is curative of most forms of kidney stones. So if somebody has a stone, taking less C will not make it better and arguably make it worse. If you're a stone former, take more magnesium, more B6, drink a lot of water, knock off the soft drinks, and continue to take your vitamin C. Why? because Dr. McCormick and Dr. Cathcart were medical doctors and their degrees are just as good as your doctor and their experience, maybe even a little more extensive.